Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Draft of Darkness, a survival horror deck builder roguelike. You better believe it. We're combining those today, baby. I do want to point out something real quick, just in case people think this is a microtransaction thing. It's not. This is just how you get the meta progression unlocks. Uh, just That was just what I thought when I saw the word booster packs. It's not the case. Let's start our run here. Let us see what the heck this is going to look like. Jake, Kara, Pavel. We are playing the demo here, but I, uh, I do believe it is out in early access now. Let me just double check here. Yep, it is out in early access. $9.99, uh, $8.99 at the time of this recording here in early access. But who do we want to play as? Jake or Kara? Do we want a stab build? Can use guns? Flashlights, which I assume is it's a type of cards that they can use. Or Kara, who can use a knife and medicine? White collar shirt. Plus one physical defense. Kara's knife. We can even pick between uh, a weapon here. It doesn't seem like there's any reason to want to... Well, we can make her... Look, we can put, put it in her other hand. Why not? How could that... How could that end up biting us in the butt? We, I mean, we'll find out. She's got pills, vicious, enemy bleeding interval is reduced by a second. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just figure it out. We got uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff in the card pool because I did open up a couple packs beforehand. Uh, trigger up to five bleeding stacks on the target immediately. Seems interesting enough to me. How do we? Uh... Did I? Oh, you, I right-click it to add. Needs to have 10 cards. Uh, trigger up to 5 bleeding. I feel like we can take out one of those. What else? Anything else relating to bleeding? We'll obviously figure out more in the future. Bleeding stab. We could have another bleeding stab. Uh, gain slight 1. I mean, this is all like this is all well and good, but we haven't even started playing the game yet. Uh, do we have any way to gain stealth? Gain slight... We have no way to gain stealth here. We do there now. Dash, gain stealth. Draw a card and stealth one. Can't be targeted by foes. You know what? Sure. We'll take out a quick slash. We'll put in a, a quick dash. And then after that... There was something with bleeding. And stealth. Where was that? Deal four damage. 16, apply bleeding. I mean... I don't know, man. Let's take out a bleeding stab and put this in, because let's just... I don't want to... Cannot override a hero's original deck. So save as. I don't know. Sure. Save and continue. So that's pretty cool. So you can actually make your deck right at the beginning here. And then I imagine it can be modified... You weren't surprised when you got the news that there was a warrant for your arrest. Yeah, it turned out a little bit Uncle Van has, hasn't has been coming to work the whole week. You knew it was all lies when you said, oh, shoot. Arnav Leach, your boss, you wanted to, that, to end that man from within, but it didn't work. He's impossible to reach. Too many connections. Back up by the government. Maybe you can send him a message in a more direct manner. This is pretty interesting there. Just that, that style. I feel like I haven't quite... <laughs> there's, there's a vibe here that I... I feel like I haven't white scene. It's like a lot of familiar... Oh, yeah, there's like... It's like PlayStation mixed with pixel art mixed with... I, it's, it's interesting. Okay. To move around, WASD, up, down, left, right, yeah, yeah. Move towards events to interact with them. G to toggle the tile grid. Your progress is saved periodically. Closing the program. Good deal. If you come across any errors, thank you. Tutorial history by clicking that. What a good feature. A tutorial history button. Oh my god, look at us. Gear Cursed Thick Knife. It's flimsy, but it has extra speed. Chemicals. Okay. Bandage. Has already been used many, many times. Use ex during exploration. Remove up to three stacks of wounded from the target. Encounter. Remove up to three stacks of bleeding from the target. Okay, so when, when we get in combat... It'll be different. I mean, hello there. You're a monster. I'm pretty confident. Hello. I mean, we're gonna have to fight you at some point. How do we? Uh, how do we open up our inventory? Equipment. Here we go. 
Equipment, you increase the character's attributes. Hovering over equipment will show the attribute differences compared to the other equipped costumes and weapons. Equipping weapons is important since the character can only use cards with the type of the equipped weapons. You can determine the alternative weapons by equipping weapons and clicking the swap button. You can swap between the alternate and main weapons during encounters by spending energy. Okay. First of all, can we dual wield knives? We can dual wield knives. But it doesn't do more damage. Physical power. Okay, first of all. Doesn't matter. So we get both of the stats. I feel like there's no reason to not just have <laughs> dual wield knives right now. They already had a little bit of extra defense. Uh, it smells not great is, uh, is what it says there. So we are going to be forced to do an encounter here between one of these two. Uh, let's fight Weird Demon Pregnant Rat. Oh, no, we cannot escape. Oh, my God. This visual style is nuts. Oh, my God. Going near enemy tiles during exploration will start the encounter phase. Defeat all the enemies to gain loot and experience. Click and drag or point the cards to get gotcha there. Uh, also use items to gain advantage. Notice that some items can only be used during exploration. Some can only be used during encounters. Usable items and cards will be highlighted. Key shortcuts can also be used to play cards. Neat. Each card will cost energy in the bottom left and a resource such as pistol bullets. Ah! Okay. The energy of the character can be seen under them with the green bar. The resources are mutual for all of your characters, so we can have multiple characters. Hello there, weird rat. Oh my god, look at these these visuals. They're they're very like they're unsettling in a in a very clearly on purpose kind of a way how the style of low res is a little spooky. It's a spooky. I will say, I want to make it clear as well that there is a uh, color bleed thing that is supposed to be on normally. Uh that we can have on or have off, but since I know what that does to uh, to YouTube videos, we're going to have that off. It just janks up the resolution, uh, so we're going to have that off. Okay, so if you have stealth, the effect is double. We don't have that other thing that gives us stealth. Uh, so we have, okay, three energy, five energy. We could do... Deal 4 damage, 16 on a crit. Wow. Apply bleeding 3. How does bleeding work? 3 bleeding damage on decay. 2 seconds per stack. How, do, how long is a second? Enemy bleeding interval is reduced by a second. I don't know, man. Let's just do a little bleeding stab. and we'll, Okay, so in 1 second. I, I may, I'm thinking that maybe each of these is a second here. We've got Bleeding Stab still. We could do... You know what? Sneaky Blow, a little bit of damage, a little bit more bleed, and then we'll get a little bit of a quick slash in. Uh, conserve... Conservation Mode. Enabling Conservation Mode will let you use the weak alternatives of cards during this turn. Automatically toggled off at the end of the turn. Auto All resource-costing cards have weak versions... But others also may. Okay. We don't have any, any other alternative weapons. Alright, let's just end here. What do you got? So time has passed there. Conserving resources. Conserve your ammo. You can also enter the conservation mode by clicking the button in the bottom left or by pressing alt. You'll use the weak variation. But not all the cards have weak ver variations. To preview the weak variation, press Alt. Okay. All entities get turned depending on their speed attribute. Yellow bar shown under each entity is their time bar. When it fills up, the entity gets to make their move. You can also toggle the timeline by clicking the button on the top right. So does that mean in four seconds you're going to act? Or the, there's the bar down there, at the very least. Draw a card, gain a stealth. It costs how much? Two. Do bleeding stab. Bleeding stab. So the stealth. What? Where can we? Where can we look at what the stealth is doing? Cannot be targeted by foes. Decays and causes revealed one on targeting and and wait, and causes revealed one 
on targeting an entity except when using stealth giving moves. Ah. Prevent stealth. Its decay effect isn't prevented. This condition isn't re reapplied. Either. So that's just a way to keep us out of like infinite stealth. Like if we stealth, we gotta we gotta stay stealth. So that was like a mistake. He's about Yep, bloated rat is filled up here. Oh my dang. So we will not be able to get back in in that there. Trigger up to five bleeding stacks on the target immediately. I mean, I hope that's good. Yes, it is. Okay, so they count down. It does bleed, 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 bleed. Uh, I gotcha, I gotcha, gotcha. And it counts down the number. I thought it was just like, it does nine damage, but I think that was the amount of stacks, right? Thin syringe is a weapon. So that would let us use syringe attacks. Card, choose one. Ooh, hello there. Apply bleeding three if you have stealth that's doubled. Deal two time or damage equal to the bleeding on the target. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Deal three damage, draw two cards. If the damage was not critical, discard a card. Let's go with no mercy. Cards will be added to your card trunk. Don't forget to move them to the character's deck by opening up the deck tab. At character edit window can be opened with the key shortcuts. Gotcha. So we can just add it to the deck, right? Like, I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. How much? That's five energy. It's kind of expensive. Sure. Why not? All right, let's do a little bit more explore. Goodbye there, weird spider. Strange sound here, too. Hello there, weird rats, plural. If we were to step right here... I would imagine we would fight both of them. Oh my god. Explore. What do you got? Great shred decks. What? Okay. Check out our equipment. We got some more stuff here. I think that... I mean, I don't need a syringe right now. Uh, Light power... Up. I don't think we have any... I don't think we have any light. I think there's like a flashlight weapon. So it's kind of irrelevant. I don't know. Maybe there's going to be a way to, to sell it or something. Fight me, rat. Fight me. This is slick. This is slick. Oh, two rats. Don't fight me. Oh, the rat gets to go first. Oh, my God. Are we just going to like get bodied? Okay. In encounter, heal target ally for five health. All right, well, we'll think about it then. Let's go with bang. Bang. Bang into dash stealth draw card. We have the stealth. It's for only for one second, so I don't know how relevant it's really even going to be. Oh, no, it's not one second. Oh, that's... That's huge. Okay, so we can apply Sneaky Blow into No Mercy. That should do, like, lots of damage. It's pretty good. Pretty solid. Open this. Ends up. Eh, yeah, we're not going to be able to get out of our stealth. Bite Frenzy. I mean, that's not great. That's certainly not great. Oh, God, that sound. Ugh. We could take the pills. Open wound. Trigger up to five bleeding stacks. That would be a kill, wouldn't it? Nine bleeding damage. on This thing's got to be dying. How many seconds is that? Oh, we just barely can't. Just barely can't stealth again. Wait. Prevent stealth. Yep. Yeah. So. We can't open wound either. I, I almost feel like. Let's 
guarantee that guy dies, I guess. As much as it's not the best. I'm going to do this because I don't care about drawing a, or doing a damage. Or uh, what? what? Drawing a card. What the hell am I saying? So its corpse is still here. That's got to mean something. Oh my god. I am about to die. Cleansed some of the bleeding. We're going to take two damage. This ain't great. We could just set up a lot of bleed. We could do... Uh, two times... Wait. Damage equal to the bleeding. It would be three. It's just not that... It's not that worth it. We could do bleed, bleed. You know what? Let's just do bleed, bleed, bleed. That's nine every... Uh, for that second there. Please don't do anything nasty. I mean, it's a little nasty. I can't deny. I can't deny it's a little nasty. We got open wound. Good. That's kind of what I was looking for. Uh. Okay. So we act we we automatically trigger that like right now. I'm gonna heal myself a little bit because I just don't know quite what he's gonna do. This is this is rough. This is super rough. Four. Oh, no. Okay. If we end our turn with dash... Whew, Jesus. If we end our turn with dash, we won't be targeted. So we can only... Well, we can spend eight. So we can do... Well, sneaky blow. Would that get us a kill? That would put eight or four damage and then... The effect. Are you saying, like, we would do 8 damage and then bleed 6? Or 4 damage and bleed and bleed 6? That's a notable difference. Either way, let's go bang, bang, and then we shall stealth ourselves. So we should not be able to get targeted now. Yep, he cannot target us. Oh boy, just do any damage. Just do any damage. Hoi! Hoi, oi, oi. Torn hat has a very smudgy look. Uh, Let's see. Leather jean top. What do you got here? Oh my god. Poison 1, if you have stealth, also apply slowness. Deal 3 damage, draw 2 cards. If the damage was not critical, discard a card. I'm going to cancel on those. What do we have? To? Oh, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that much. We can take it. We don't have to keep it. I suppose. Because we don't have to put it into our deck. Ooh, we get a level up. Thank God. I mean, I'm not going to say we're going to live. Vitality. Strength. One of each. Oof. You can assign uh, shortcut slots to your items, which will help you organize them in the item bar if the item has no active effect. Assigning a slot will pin the item to the slot's position. Okay, F1, F2. Gotcha. We still have a flare. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Speed up light power. Doesn't matter. Ruthless leather jean top. Sure. That helps. And then we don't want this. Good stuff. Oh, boy. That was gnarly. What do we have here? Is this an ATM? Decisions. In decision events, you will have some choices to make. Some of the decisions may affect... Future events and story. Dream Terminal. The terminal is in bad shape, but still usable. The text on the screen says, Due to the current unfortunate events, we had to suspend our retail shop for an undetermined period of time. You can still use our secondhand shop during this time. Uh, oh, we'll browse. Fake hand. Oh, passives. All allies deal 25% more physical damage when they have less than 25% health. Hey, that's me. Uh, use... During exploration, designate the possessor. Passive possessor suffers radiation one every 12 steps during exploration. 
but gains 0.5 critical chance per stack. I don't know what radiation does. I can only assume it's bad. Uh, okay. What? It, how many of these do we have? We just don't have whatever that resource is. That's what I was going to say. Kind of thought that might be the case. What is printing items? You can 3D print items uh, with 99.1% accuracy to the non-printed counterpart. It's a uh, creation of a blueprint is required to be able to 3D print an item due to undergoing maintenance. You can only print your own blueprints. Uh, you need a full sample of the item to provide... Wait, the provided sample will be destroyed during the process. So we can, like, sacrifice... We can sacrifice an item to potentially print it later. Is that true? That's kind of neat. Um, this thing seems like an elite of some sort. Have we been fighting elites? Okay, so there's nothing in that oven. Somebody's home. Unbelievably, you smell something delicious. Following it brings you to a saucepan full of food. You're very hungry, but there has to be somebody nearby who will not be very happy. To share their mood, <laughs> meal with you. I mean, yeah, no, that's fine. Well, this is clearly like the boss. And we should probably theoretically do a little bit more exploration beforehand. Did we not? We didn't open this? I mean, like, thank you for all that stuff. What does the flare do? Reveal all nearby tiles within six minutes. I mean, it's, it's irrelevant right now. Irrelevant in the moment. <clears throat> I think we... Okay. Hidden doors. You come across a trap door which opens to a dark corridor with two doors side to side. There's something shining at the far end of the left door. I mean, you walk into the room, there's a shiny vase at the end of it. Seems like an expensive item. Something that can be found in a rich man's house. You wonder why it's here. What purpose does it serve? I mean, like... Because it's a trap. Yeah, I mean, like I was just—I thought maybe we would pass the check anyways, though. You know, a fool I was. You haphazardly walk towards the vase, aiming to grab it. Suddenly, the ceiling collapses on you. The whole room is filled with debris. But you manage to dash backwards. At the last moment, you avoided death with only a few scratches. Would that have been like? Wait, would that have been death? You walk into the room. The room is lacking any furniture or decoration. There's a compartment at the far end of the room, and I <laughs> indentation on the wall. You walk closer to it and see three cables in the indentation. Going from one side to the other. You can't reach the cables. <laughs> there are heavy grates in the way. There are electrical scissors attached to the outer wall with a metal cable. Why not? Oh, no. Wait. The moment you pick up the scissors, you hear a click sound coming from somewhere inside the wall. Suddenly, the grates blocking your access to the cable slowly lift up. Metal grates stop moving halfway, giving you access to the two wires at the bottom. But you can't reach the top one. You can't take the scissors with you, and so they are not strong enough to cut the metal wire they are attached to. Okay. Upon inspecting the cables closer, you see phrases scribbled to the wall in alignment with each cable. From top to bottom, they read, Cut only if... Wait, are any of them cut? Upon... Uh, were any of them cut? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. Cut only, from top to bottom they read, cut only if both the middle and the bottom are both not cut. Cut only if the bottom is not cut. <laughs> cut only if the top is not cut. So, cut only if the middle and bottom are both not cut. So, we want to cut the middle and then the bottom. Wait. I'm so confused. So if we cut this, if we cut the middle cable, like th this depends on, you know, whatever. This depends on the order we cut them, right? You cut both wires and put the scissors on the ground. The grating suddenly lets loose. comes smashing down, blocking access to the wires again. Picking the scissors up back up doesn't seem to work anymore. All this seems to have led to nothing. Did you fail? You return to the main corridor. 
As you try and... <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought. Oh my god. As you try to climb back up the trap door, your ears ring with an explosive sound. The whole building starts shaking. You climb back up, escaping from the rubble cloud coming your way. The moment you stand up, the trap door falls down from all the shaking. You guess there's no going back up there. Oh, hello. Oh, he's moving. Actually, I didn't even... I don't think I realized that they move yet. I don't think I saw that ever. Syringe vitamins. Increase the max health of an ally by 10. Yeah? Hell yeah? But yeah, that one, it was like, technically, they all could be cut at the first, in the, at the first moment. I don't know, man. I guess we just weren't supposed to cut any. Room key? Can we use that on any room, I guess? Hello, bad spider. Should we get in a tussle? Like, I, I'm kind of looking to just get a bunch of stuff and then go for some tussling. Uh, crit chance up, light power up. Maybe I'm mistaken about what that even is. Restore three energy. Can only be used in the encounter. Uh, you know, let's just fight you. Hello, friend. So there's nothing we can do. We had to take that damage, right? Like, we just had to. Okay. Am I willing to break stealth? Sure thing, man. So we do attack twice. We do the 8 damage and we do the 6 bleed. I mean, that's a lot. Like, we could... We could energy drink into bleeding stab and try and, like... Just really get this damage going here. Boom. 11 damage on the next. We need another card that grants us stealth. Alright. The bleeding should go before his bar, right? Yes! Alright. Good stuff. Good stuff. Toy needle. Matches. We'll figure out what that does. Uh, wounding tantrum. Apply bleeding one, bleeding one to a random enemy five times for three energy. That seems good. If there's only one enemy, it's, it's just helpful. Six damage. Exhaust yourself. Lose all your remaining energy. I mean, if it's a finisher, whatever, you know. If you don't have stealth, gain stealth 4. Otherwise, gain stealth 1. If enemies have a debuff or dis... If all enemies have a debuff or disability, remove revealed from self. Oh, that's that's something. That That is the survivability tool we need. Because frequently, all the enemies will have... They'll all have bleed. 30 gene top. I mean, is that... Isn't that kind of what we have? I guess we can look and see if the toy blade is any better, too. I, I kind of just assumed that it wouldn't be. I mean... Level 5. Wait. Physical power up by 2. I mean... Sure. Wait, it's comparing to the offhand? How do I compare it to the... Oh, oh, the one on the right is comparing it to the main hand. The one on the left is comparing it to the offhand. Is that is that what I'm... I think that's what I'm learning here. Okay. Crit chance up. Physical defense down. Physical defense down. Speed up. Eh. My power. Eh. Eh. And all that. Let's uh, slap that in there. And maybe say that's fine. That's fine. We don't need to... I don't want to remove anything else right now. I was looking to the left. I didn't mean to get into a tussle. Oh, no! We could try and run.
Where's the fun in that? Let's just die instead. Stealth 4. I mean, we should be able to completely dodge either of these here. It's our turn if we want it. We could also just end. Getting the ability to... Targeting an entity to... Yeah, okay. I mean, if we could get the... Um, a syringe, I feel like that would be something that we would benefit greatly from. Let's end turn while we're stealth, right? We're still stealth. They can't touch me. I'm a living god. It's dangerous. Wait, we're still stealthed? It's decay effect isn't prevented. Prevent... So, it, it, does it prevent future stealth, but only prevents one stack? So, are we still stealth? So, could we theoretically attack one more time and still have one second of stealth? Maybe. We gained a stealth. Is it true, though? Does it apply, or are we able to... No, we are able to be attacked because we have revealed. So that's going down. When it goes down to the bottom, we'll still have these stacks. Gotcha. So if we make you bleed, and then we vanish... We removed one of our revealed. We, we revealed ourselves once, and then we removed the reveal. Yeah, okay. Uh, we. We're going to end because we're still going to be stealth. We're, we are stealth right now. We can let this bleeding take its toll. We are bleeding ourselves too. We can. Everybody can just sit here and bleed together. Why not, man? We, we still have the... We still have a lot of time uh, on the... Um, on ours here. This guy's going to die before he can do anything. We gain protection. I don't think that'll help him. I'm waiting for vanish so that I can get an attack off and then vanish. Dash. Now what is it looking for? Weird. Weird stuff. We are going to take this bleeding, but it's only one damage. It's fine. That guy's gone. Okay, now we can... Uh, now we can blast them. Bleeding stab. That will give us the reveal, but he is now bleeding, so if we vanish... I guess I thought that was going to work. If all enemies have a debuff or disability, remove revealed from self. Oh my god, it's not a debuff. It's not a debuff. It's decaying. It's not a debuff. It's not a debuff. Bleeding's not a debuff. I repeat, bleeding doesn't count. Our build is is bunk. Our build is bunk. Shoot. Alright. Uh Ugh. Screw it. Oh boy. We were so close to being able to just stealth that. We got four seconds. We got bleed. We're bleeding again. It's the rat's turn, but we are stealth. Thank God. That that was very convenient. Uh, 
We can sneaky blow into... We just crit. We just crit. Nothing else matters. Okay. Give adrenaline 2 and weak 2 to an ally. Speed by 30%, but also reduce your physical defense and dark defense. Not right now, thank you. It's cool to see. I mean, I'll take it. Maybe. Maybe we'll find some fun in that. Uh, I'll take a little bit of vitality, because I am dying big time. Uh, dark defense. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. I guess we could have a syringe in our offhand. It's a level 5 syringe. I don't know. Level 5 syringe. Speed up. A little bit of speed up. That's a, some nice physical defense. <laughs> Dual wield syringes. Walking around like a, a major doinkus. Oh, God. Okay. Bandage. Are we wounded? We're not wounded. So we'll save that for the inevitable bleeding we shall do. There is a drawer to go for here. I could have been I could have been ran at. Rated by. If we get radiated. Fair enough. Come on, Kara. Get the lead out, girl. Locked door. This core I mean, we have a key. I hope I mean I hope there's something good back here. A spider. Nice. Oh. How are you even still alive? Great question. Buying. Buy items, equipments, and cards from the left panel using your resources. Sell items in the right panel to gain them. Every shop trades with different resources. Some accept coins. Some will trade with bullets. Okay. I'm glad it's coins because we have some. We could get another open wound. Uh, you're always earning with dream money. Get 1% off on travel purchases. Have 5% off on drugstores. Um. Okay. Slow poke. Apply slowness to. Ooh. Add two stack two stacks to all existing buffs. I mean, now that's interesting. That's interesting. Another open wound is it's it's tempting. It's an expensive card though. I wish we could do, do this, but we can't play it because we don't have a gun. We need to have a gun to dodge. Everyone knows that. I'll take this thing. Maybe it's enough to start to. That's got to be a debuff. Yeah, it is a debuff. Okay. So you don't mind that weird turtle thing, demon turtle, just sitting behind you? <gasps> How did you even stay alive? New character? New party member? <gasps> Recruiting! If you recruit companions, they'll join your party and you'll control them during encounters. Companions have their own decks, which you can expand by adding cards from your trunk. After recruiting companions, you can edit your party with the point button in the character window. You can designate fighters, dismiss companions from the party using buttons near the avatar. Officer Owen. I Spooky light. Apply photophobia. Chance to be staggered. I mean, we're gonna do. Yeah, absolutely. I'll take. I'll take a party member. I don't. I, I. I failed to see how it's a problem. Okay. What do you got? You got. Uniform. It can give you. Can you hold a syringe? No. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know. Light power up. 7.5 to light power up. I mean, that seems huge. Uh, can't hold another thing. Can you dual wield guns in the future? Crit chance up. Light power up, maybe. Light, light power up, sure. Uh, he's got a flashlight. I mean, sure. Deck. Uh, I don't want to put this in our deck when... 
I feel like we just don't have enough cards to justify making a second deck there. Hello, rats. Should we just go fight the boss now? Just say, like, smile and wave, boys. Say goodbye to this mortal coil. You moved before. Are you going to move again? No. Goodbye, Earth. See you later, Earth. Wait, where was the boss? Is that the boss? Is that what that? Oh, that's it. There's the exit. Okay, oops. Whoop. Whoops a do. This game is very neat. Very. Ah, you got me! You little rat. Oh. Can we change our order so that Officer Owen is more likely to be. Look at the hand just out. Okay, uh, I kind of want to do Vanish. So we'll go with Bleeding Stab. We want four points left. I want you to stay there. Okay, so we end. And then it's going to be Owen's turn. Gotcha. Let's let's take a look here. So these take... These take bullets, which... I guess we must have. I'm trying to see where... We have three bullets, but we can spend one energy to... Start to use our less powerful one. 30% uh, chance to be staggered when struck by light damage. Reduce their time bar to zero, delaying their next turn. So it's kind of like a stun. Pistol whip. Okay, encourage one. Apply blinded. Reduces speed to zero, causes insensitive one. So he cannot be blinded again for a little bit. Okay. That's the oh, three bullets, though. All three of our bullets. Spooky light. Also, we have batteries. Oh, my God. Fine. What's the weak stuff? Yeah. Physical power up. And then... Pistol whip. So, Pistol Whip's just better better during these turns. So, Rat gonna go. He gonna attack the officer, I would think. Because, yeah, we have the stealth. That works fine for me. Uh, Triple Bleed, though? Maybe Triple Bleed, though? We can also just dash. But delaying our turn makes a lot less sense now. So, that's yeah, gonna... I mean, we're gonna... They're going to have a little bit of a window where we are still stealthed. Oh, wait. Oh, we were able to go again. Suffer attract one. If you have fleeing, apply blinded one to enemies. Uh, increased probability of being targeted by enemies. Neat. Blunt hit. Deal 18 damage. I don't have a flashlight. I don't, even, I don't even have a flashlight. Definitely pistol whip. What did this do? Oh, how much was it? Seven. That's good enough. Absolutely. Goodbye. Oh, my God. It's so much easier with two characters. Who would have thought? Thin t-shirt. I feel like that might be relevant. S remove three debuff stacks from my ally. I mean, that's good. Uh, shoot and roll. What's the alt? Uh, deal two damage. Yikes. Deal six and gain a dodge. Dodge is a damaging attack. Decays on trigger. Decays decays on trigger. Okay, yeah. So it just gets rid of it. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, deal five, gain dodge, one, and then draw a card. So it's like, it does one less damage, but you get to draw a card. That seems good. Seems good. All right. Uh, I I feel like I just need to keep on going for vitality while you're like almost dead. Drop that in there. I think we should take out the flashlight stuff until we get you, you know, a flashlight. Can I? Can I not take it out of your? 
Am I missing something? Fire or bystander? I can't... Can I not take it out once I put it in? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So we have to be very sure about what we do? Uh-oh. I'm never very sure about what I do. Uh-oh. Maybe we can buy something again. Hello, 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 hello. Do we have one of these yet? We do not have one of those yet. I don't know how to get those. Oh my, we shouldn't we should not have walked too close to the vicinity there. Alright, yeah, let's just give this a crack, right? You know, we die, we die. And that's what we will do. <laughs> they don't stack. <laughs> Woo! It's pretty. I mean it. Uh, yeah, alright. Uh, can we adjust our party? I don't know if the order matters for, like, how likely they are to be hit. I would assume that they, like, probably just... Whatever. Fight me, big boy! <laughs> Look at the gun pointing at the bag, the other hand just like... Uh -huh. uh. Okay. Struggle. Removed web. Okay, what is web? Reduce speed by 20%. Prevent dodge at the start of own turns. Get two struggle cards. So we kind of have to struggle a bit to try and get rid of that. Okay. Uh, I'm good to try and use up my energy drink now because this, like, getting all this bleed off is just going to be helpful. It's just going to be handy. All right. It's time to use bullets. Is it though? Okay, so it's removed. On okay. Oh, 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 oh. I thought this was super junk. Like, no, it, it gets removed on discard. It's just giving me the option of removing that. Okay, that's actually really clever. And we will get a one pistol whip. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do there. Gain four extra energy at the start of the next own turn. It decays completely on trigger. Okay. Uh, I feel like she only probably needs to struggle once. We have Vanish, which is neat. We can do seven damage. Vanish. It's important that she just doesn't get struck here. It's going to go for a while. Ow! Band-Aid! One per turn? One per turn. Okay. Applied blinded one. Uh, we can. Okay. I mean, I think we just like, I think we go all in right now with our bullets. It's a boss. I think we say sure. Wait, so he's going to then go again. Even though he slowed down. He's a fast son of a gun. No, he did not go again. Alright. Uh... I 
I might die. Is the thing. If I unstealth. Oh, our speed is only reduced by 5%. No, we, re we wait. 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 What? This says prevent dodge. Well, okay, so the dodge won't happen. The dodge can't happen, but I can struggle and remove it. It's still blinded either way. So I think we're fine to go a little bit ham. Okay. He's, he's blinded for a long time, isn't he? Yeah, blind is ended. But we were able to do all this. We can now vanish, and maybe we will be able to... Actually, we could, might be able to... I think we can kill? Uh, we might die. You're definitely dead. What did you do? What? Oh, you attacked, but I dodged. Let's go. Courage. Running out of resources when you add resources. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. It's good that it reminds on that mechanic, though, because it is kind of, um, it's a different mechanic. It's a mechanic that doesn't really exist in other, uh, other games like this. Other roguelike decks. Not that there really is a game like this. Uh, we could have passive. Clay figure. Uh, a... On use, exploration designated possessor. Passive increase the hand size of the possessor by two for the first turn, but reduce it by one for the rest of their turns. Mm, doesn't seem that great. Uh, possessor loses three off the start of their turns, increases the speed of their possessors by 5% of the damage they've received. Weird. Unicorn mask. For all allies, increase base, physical damage, and light damage of all extra drawn cards by one. It has no downsides. It's not great, but it has no downsides. Uh, what the hell? Deal eight damage back. Receiving a melee. Convert all courage into protection. Ooh. Kind of fun. I'm gonna say no to all of that, though. Actually, no. We have to take one. Repose seems interesting. It's, oh, it t that takes uh, that takes one of the medicines. Okay, gotcha. Locked door seems to be leading to a different area. Let's go. So even if some way you were able to get past the boss, you can't actually. Oh, rearrange cards. Okay, so we this is how we remove cards. Like, theoretically, we could keep that in the hopes that... Or we could spend that resource on actually healing, which seems... Okay, I was going to say, this seems brutal. But now it makes more sense. Yeah, we'll do something like that. All right, good stuff. Well, then. Well, then, well, then, well, then. What? Streets? That is that, and that is going to do it here for today. If you want more Draft of Darkness, you got to let me know with the comments below. This, uh, yeah, this has been Draft of Darkness. I, it's slick. It's really slick. It absolutely brings new stuff to the table, and it does combine that kind of, uh, the theming of it really does feel quite appropriate to what it's trying to go for. Uh, yeah, again, $9.99 on Steam, $8.99 on sale if you, if you catch this really quickly after the video. There's only 16 positive reviews right now, gang. Let's uh, let's let's change that. Let's change that. If you enjoyed this, and you pick it up, make sure to leave a leave a nice review. I like to get the old retromation bump on there. If you if you liked this video and you pick it up and you enjoy the game, please do remember to leave reviews on the games that you get from the from the Let's Try series. If you're ever curious about this, uh, what you can do to help this stuff. Leaving a leaving a review. Or if a game's not out yet, leaving a wish list. Those are, are great things you can do. You can go and you can play this demo 
that I am playing right now for completely free over on Steam with the link at the top of the description. You can go play literally everything I've done and then and more. You can try out different builds. There's the different character. There's, um, of course, the different packs that we can get. There's three packs or two types of packs in the demo, but in the full game, uh, there are one, two, three, there's this, there's six. Dwarven Rage is very intriguing to me. Uh, it, <laughs> very curious what that would be, but yeah, this is really this is really slick. I I like this a lot. I highly recommend this. Uh, Draft of Darkness does something new. Yeah, there, yes, there's some familiar elements. Yes, it's another deck builder, but to make a deck builder in 2021 that feels like it is bringing something different to the table uh, in the way that it integrates the survival horror elements and it does it in a way that the, like the fact that the, these genres were merged together in a way that feels appropriate like it, it feels like I don't know we're not going to have jump scares you know, you're not going to put jump scares in your survival horror deck builder because that's stupid. <laughs> like, you're not going to do that. Uh, but the way to use, like, the scarcity of resources, having to use the, the weaker form, like, the stru you're, you're in the form of struggling uh, to, to switch to your other mode so you can use your pistol whip because you're backed into a corner, like, metaphorically. Maybe literally even. Uh, like, the damage is brutal. The best things you can do... To, to not take damage is to hide just to, to hide in the corner or like hide in the corner in, in, with a stealth mechanic you have to scrap through all these drawers sneak past enemies because the combat is unforgiving and it's just about getting the right stuff to just survive there all the like all the little things I had to use everything uh, at my disposal as far as like the healing and the bandages everything it feels very true to the survival horror motifs, uh, gameplay motifs, more so than horror itself. But honestly, like, the enemies are kind of, you know, kind of spooky to look at, too. Kind of creepy, the whole setting, everything. And obviously, we don't know how it gets moving forward, but, uh, like, the sound effects, everything, the, the vibe, this music, it's all, it's all working together cohesively to make a survival horror roguelike deck builder that's good. It makes it makes those gen those genres combine together in a way that is better than a better than a quirk. It's it's a good game. It's a, this is a very I'm super excited to see where this goes. Uh, hey, if you like it, like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you liked about it. Let me know if you picked it up. Let me know if you left a review on the game. If you did, this is Draft of Darkness. Thank you for watching. My name is Retromation. I put up videos on indie games every single day. If you like them, click the button that does the subscribing. Because you will get videos on cool roguelikes. Pretty much roguelikes. Uh, I've gone on a huge roguelike uh, binge recently. Normally I specialize in them, but recently I've been doing tons. So if you like the genre, boy howdy. Boy howdy. Make sure you're subscribed. I'll show you all kinds of great games every single day. So do the like, do the comment. If you appreciate the fact that I saved all this plugging till the end, then do me a solid and, uh, and actually do it. That'd be great. I would love you if you did that. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.